Fresh herbs can be very expensive, and you can often get potted herbs for similar prices. Today, I'm going to show you how to keep your supermarket herbs alive and make them grow lots of leaves so that you can harvest. Like this. I'm using coriander or cilantro, but many tips in this video can be applied to other herbs as well. All you need is a bigger pot and some potting mix. The first step when you get home with your potted herbs is to put it into a bigger pot. When you take the packaging off, you might think it looks pretty good already. But if you leave the herbs in its original pot, it won't stay healthy for very long because there is lots of cilantro packed into a very small pot with little soil. It's simply too crowded. This is also why the plant looks really leggy right now. And leggy just means a really long stem with very few leaves. And that's because the stems are reaching and competing for sunlight. So we will repot the plant into a bigger pot to give the plant more space. I didn't film the entire repotting process, so if you need some tips on how to repot a plant, you can check out my other video on repotting a spider plant. The process is the same for cilantro. After you repot, you want to pinch or cut off the dead leaves and stems to encourage the plant to grow new, healthy leaves. Ideally, you want to place the herbs in the place where they can receive a few hours of sunlight a day. I have mine near a southeast facing window, and it has been doing really well. For watering, you want to water only when the soil is dry. Then water it thoroughly until you see water coming out of the drainage hole from the bottom. To harvest cilantro, you want to pinch it right above the leaf node. Your cilantro will then grow more stems from the node. To give your cilantro a fuller look, start by harvesting from the leggy stems. You can also use scissors instead of your fingers. Just make sure not to harvest more than a third of the leaves at once. After that, wash the harvest cilantro leaves, and you can dry it with a paper towel, and then it's ready to be used for cooking. Here is what my cilantro looks like after two weeks. It's already looking much fuller than before and it's growing more leaves every day. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos. Bye!